are the biggest games that I have because I have well there's one here it's called Chernobyl Chernobyl demo it is 34 gigabytes 34 and a half gigabytes I have to play this game and uninstall it it's just taking up way too much space so I'm going to be playing like every demo that's on this list because they are too big the problem is um without even playing these games yet I'm already assuming that they're bad and I think that's, <clears throat> this is from just history. This is from history. Games that are this big on a demo are usually not very well made. And that's why they're so big. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to find, you know, the, uh, the game that kind of breaks that, that, uh, that cycle, the one, the one that kind of breaks the mold of, is it a giant game? Then it's probably badly made. I want to see a giant game demo that it's giant because it looks really good. Audio language, yeah, Russian, that's good. Subtitles, yes. Home cinema, uh, com we'll confirm all this, this is good. Changing the language requires starting the game. I didn't, okay. Adju until you can barely see the darkest symbol. We'll go with this. Um, I don't know if this is an FPS or something, but I've got my controller in. If it is an FPS, I would very much like to not use a controller. Frame lit rate. Oh, run a benchmark test. All right. So the reason this game's big is because it's big. Let's run a benchmark test. Sarink Perinsa. Congratulations. You are a bot and you've been removed. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Running a benchmark live, it's not good. Oh my god, it's 227 though. Pretty good. I think we'll stick with that. Oh right, yeah, let's look at my computer specs, shall we? <clears throat> pretty decent, pretty decent. Average FPS 122. We'll stick with that. New game. Survival difficulty. Yeah, okay. So this, I think this game has just installed the full game and then it's just going to give us the demo and that's why it's so big. You're installing the full game, basically. That's that's good. That's a good sign. Um, Let's go. Survival difficulty, combat difficulty, management difficulty. We'll keep it all medium for now. The game is using autosave to save your progress. I am not showing you the game, am I? <laughs> This is the start. You haven't missed anything. This is the start of the game. You just missed the benchmark test, which was going through like a green portal and then walking in the woods. Whoa! Oh no! No, it's a horror game! Nah, dude. I thought it was going to be horror-ish. I thought it was going to be like Metro, to be honest, just from the looks of it. If it, if it was going to be that style of game, it looks like Metro. I expected it to be a throwaway unit, uh, uh, Unreal game. Ooh, but it is nice looking. All right. Hmm. Well, are we going to see something creepy in the woods? Oh my god. So the frame rate does drop though when something moves quite a lot. Oh shit. Uh, I have to pause because uh, I need to remove this. Antares, by the way, um, you're a moderator now. Congratulations. If you see any messages like that, you can you just... Remove them, please. 
I don't know why we've never made you a mod before, to be honest. Oh, bro, no! You know what? We do need to, we need to sort these video options out. Frame rate, ro frame rate lock. Graphics quality, I'm going to turn it to high. Just to make sure, because this is going weird. Motion blur, always off. Motion blur and head bobbing, always off. Every game, always off. Oh, I'm about to get friggin' jump scared on the... F Clouds over Chernobyl, the bright future of science. Show hide no, okay. What is this? A gravity is situation. 115,000 people within 36 hours evacuated. Ooh. All right. Well, oh my god. You're creepy. Why we Why we got a horror game right off the bat? I thought this... Oh, shit. Oh. Damn it. Hey, it's Mod Antares back for revenge. He's blue now. He's a blue guy. Of course we have to be called Ego, isn't that like the most stereotypical name from that area? You know, Russia, Ukraine. Oh, hello. Hello, darling. Oh, I got a... Oh, I'm not scared anymore. You're going to get... You're going to get knifed. Yeah! You proposed to me. Oh. This is creepy. Ah! <laughs> oh shit, actually scared me. Damn it. it. She turned into like a gremlin and it got me. No. You friggin' gremlins. <laughs> oh no. Just keep running, I guess. Are we getting chased by anything? No, nope, just lightning strikes. <laughs> uh, I got got. I got got. I didn't expect. I thought she was just gonna fade away again. They, they did get me. This is running pretty badly, even though it's like the frame's really high. Uh, maybe I should lock it at 60 instead to make it run smoothly instead of it. The thing is, oh, am I getting hit? Oh my god. The thing is, I want it to not shift dramatically, but, you know, this this frame rate, that frame rate. Oh! Alright, well, now we're not scared, because now we can shoot the demons. Unless it's Alan Wake. Speaking of, Alan Wake 2 announced over Christmas. Dom, Dom came over. Oh my god, we're in, we're in Modern Warfare 2. 40,000 people used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. Classic. Um, can dodge. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Eh. 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 Oh, he got me. Uh. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'll just shoot you. I'll play the game now. I was trying, the dodge is a little awkward, being on that, you know, I'd prefer it to be a button, but. Oh, I did dodge. It's hard though. It's hard to time that dodge, man. Because you've got to double tap. So you, you dodge on the second tap. So you've got to kind of start pressing it before they attack you kind of thing. This looks cool though. I have no ammo. Oh, and there's, there's a lot of enemies. Oh. Lightning strike. I win. Hey, lady. You're going to be a gremlin again. Bam! A gremlin. More like a kremlin. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> um. Where the heck do we go? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at a photo. What are you? Ah, 
Oh. All right. Is the audio balanced? Can you hear the game? Can you hear me? Oh my god, I want a workshop now. Hey, I got one thing. Um, we need... Okay. We need... This is a creep. Mechanical parts. Brutality, reality is coming apart. Is this my server? Future deterrence technologies. Okay. Mechanical part. Electronic. Yeah, so we've done this. We've we've messed up time. You might say we've created a time loop. Well, let's make this Paul generator. Oh my god! Right, so we're playing like Singularity now. Oh 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 what what what? It is Singularity. We're gonna go to the future, and then to the past. And for some reason be haunted by demons at the same time. Time demons. Oh, I need to put live chat on. I keep putting pop chat. Isn't Singularity, isn't that also in Russia? Recultivation something? Sure, it's also set in Russia, right? Or the Ukraine. That area. Uh, which seems to be going to war right now, so that's, that's great. That's a great start to 2022. Russia's going to try and invade the Ukraine and start World War III, so... I fought alongside those guys. Чернобылитый. Alright, we're just like shifting through time at the minute. What are you? I have no idea, man. I'm just jumping around time at the minute. I have no clue what's going on. So now I'm in the army? I have a gun. So I just have a knife. I wonder if I can sneak attack. These guys are going to be my... Uh... Something that needs to be done. Wow. Right. Oh my god, can I stay in one place for like three seconds? Okay. Please, give me two seconds in the same, like, world. So we have to blow this place up. Which is what we just had a glimpse of in the future or something. I guess. Did Christopher Nolan write this game? He's got to be credited somewhere. No talking, go. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go. Ladies and eggheads first. Is that real people? Um, response politely. Oh, thanks. Right, so now I'm... 
Become invisible. I don't see anyone, bro. Oh, where's the guy there? Interesting is above my pay grade. I can't get over there. Do, 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 do. Can I not jump up? Can you not climb anything? You're an idiot. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. I can sneak under here. And, uh, right. That guy's straight facing that direction, so I have to go behind him, I'm assuming. Yeah, because he's not going to turn, so I have to go behind him this way. But that guy, he's going to come back around, right? Is he going to come full circle, though? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's just keep moving. I'm not looking. I do need to go over this way. And... And he's gone. Nice. Oh, that's my friend. Okay. You've got it, buddy. See, 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 I'm coming. You sure this is the right entrance? Oh, helicopter. Get in. You guys are going to get us found. Why haven't you opened the grate? Why are you waiting for him? You should have opened this grate and then come to get me. So that we can jump in fast. In case of a retreat. Well, I guess. What are we doing? What are you doing? Oh, you want me. Take a rad reading. You are very rad. Uh, so, one. I. Can I not uh, equip? F. Ah. Ah. I first with a portal gun. This is what I want to equip. F. Ah, there we go. Alright, you ghost freaky lady. Let's go then. Talk. Come on. Get this open, boys. Oof. That's not how you jump into a hole. That is how you break your legs. Ugh. Okay. <clears throat> Come on, boys. Comrades, I guess. Is what I should call you. Comrade. Ah, we need Chnoblite. The most radioactive compound on Earth, so that we can create a portal. Он знает, что делает, Антон. Соберись и сосредоточься на задании. Вот увидишь, мы скоро выйдем. I guess we don't really need to go off course. Oh, oh my God. Слишком высокий уровень. Нужно выбираться отсюда. Мы не можем его оставить, Боже мой! Выпустите меня отсюда! Come on. I don't know why. Александр Борисович, кто-то должен открыть вентили вручную. I don't know why he's doing this. I don't have any context for what's going on. Like, oh, now I've lost my guys. God damn it. Oh, there they are. Hey, guy. Hey, guy. Ugh, got him. Don't you worry. Ah, there we go. I got a quick menu. Right. 
So you've got the one on the left and I've got the one on the right. Got you. What are you doing? <laughs> Bro, yeah. <you're... laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. There were like no struggle from those guys. They didn't try. They they didn't deserve to continue living. They're just idiots. Like, no, no. Awful. It wasn't even like a crack or anything. I didn't stab them with my knife. Just nothing. Oh, okay, okay. We need to come here, maybe. The button. There's a button. Here we are. Tatiana? Um, don't press the button, but be honest. They can't think I've gone crazy. Whatever it is, it can't interfere with my plan. I, I mean, I want to press the button. I don't know who she is. She's like a ghost. Do I trust the freaking ghost? I came here with a mission. Did we come all the way here to not press the button? No. We're pressing the button. We're not having Tatiana the ghost demon decide our fate. Right. All right. All right. Oh my God! Please, two goddamn seconds. Более того, все под контролем. Реакторы РБМК не взрываются. Ядро реактора. And who are these? They look like chefs. Why is there a bunch of chefs working in the power plant? Да светится имя твое, да придет царствие твое, да будет воля твоя. Oh, what the, what the hell? All right, it's radiations. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Getting pretty bad, guys. This is Chernobyl, I guess. Um, was Chernobyl, pick up with your bare hands, dude. No. <laughs> uh, Создает проход сквозь пространство и время. Червоточину. Прокладывает туннель с двумя выходами. И использует редкий вид энергии, чтобы держать его открытым. Редкий вид? В смысле, чернобылит? Он самый. О, oh, that looked cool. Like... Куда ведет этот туннель? Just with his bare hands touching this insanely radioactive material. I mean, this guy's dead. He's already dead. You have, you have probably about three days to live. Oh, my God. A teleporting. What the hell? Dude, it's me. That is me. That is me from the future. More like three hours. I don't know, man. R read up on some of that stuff. Read up on some of that stuff. Like when they touch the demon core. They last, they last quite a while. They last a couple of days. I mean... 
they're in like full they're in like full setup in the hospital and stuff keeping them alive but they want to keep the even though they're in horrible pain scientists want to keep them alive because they need to see what kind of how the body reacts to to crazy radiation like that it's pretty horrible to be honest look up the demon car man he was a good man What's that for girl? the negative energy of the chernobylite to teleport Whoa, it is. That was us from the future, I guarantee it. That is us. We're going to go back in time to try and stop ourselves from making this mess. By the way, if somebody has played this game, I think this game is out. If somebody has played this game and the ending is actually that I go back in time and try and stop myself and that guy is me, um, you, you have to gift. You have to gift a copy of the game to somebody in chat. That's just the way it is. Alright, bye buddy. I, 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 need, I, need, I need you to... You need to share this video on Twitter to me and uh, confirm. I'll send you this game. I don't feel like I've done very much, to be honest. I feel like I, I've really just been on a on a rail, you know, just walking down a set path. Dun, 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 dun. That is also sing yep, yeah, true, true singularity too. Classic. Classic. Also one of the the coolest twists in a PlayStation game, but I can't say the name because then you'll know if, if you haven't played it, then Hey buddy. You have time, go! I don't know what you're getting me to do, man. I'm just running in a straight line. This game's weird. You walk and push button, maybe. Yep, that's the game so far. I understand it's trying to like get me into the game, but I, I really dislike when demos are like this. <laughs> when it's just like, oh, here's the first 30 minutes of a game, and it's like of a, of a 10 hour game. So all you get is just the annoying instructions at the beginning of the game. I mean, everybody saw that weird demon thing. Because oh, you don't really get a taste for the game. Which is what a demo is supposed to do. What you do is just get the tutorial of a game, which is the worst part, usually. You know which game it wasn't? Why do I need to scan my surroundings? What does it matter? Oh, it highlights items. Fine medicine. Ooh, alright. That's cool. Um, press I to open the inventory, or I could just go here. Where's my, where's my heat? It won't let me pass until I've lowered. Ah, that's interesting. That's a cool thing. Yeah, the game with the best tutorials, I was going to say, or like the, like the practice area is probably... PSYOPs because each time you went into like the training world like you went back in time uh, they highlight all resources use R RT to select herbs oh and then we can do this ah that's cool so we can actually go through this and try and find specific things interesting navigate to herbs oh that's interesting. Now find a bonfire and use it to create a healing site. Uh, can I find a bonfire with this thing as well? Uh, bonfire. Now find a bonfire. Uh, I guess I just follow the uh, the checkpoint at the top. But basically, psyops. Every time you'd go back in time um, to learn a new skill, I gave you, the game gave you a new power, like after every boss and stuff. Um, it would take you to like 
a training room where somebody was guiding you through it. But you actually got to just play with this new power a bunch, which was really fun. And the game split up because you only got a new power every so often. Um, what we want? E. Uh, is this what we want? Yeah, it's the only thing we can make. <laughs> we got it. Sweet. We'll make two. There we go. Uh, back. Noise. And now do we go in here? It's weird because this game, it kind of feels like there's this open worldness to it. Like, oh, we can search for all this stuff in this open area. But like I said, the same time. Um, try to recall the password. Portal 1? I mean, it is very, I mean, it, Portal 1, just playing the game is the, is the tutorial, right? But it's very funny because GLaDOS is just attacking you. Try and recall it. Nostalgia. There's only one password that makes sense. I mean, it's... What did one snowman say to the other? If you can't answer that, you can't come in. Ever. Oh, we don't uh, see if we can find something. I, I do have some stuff. Let me just one minute. Let me just drink some soup. Right? Can I can I come in now? Thanks. Take a look around, see if any of this crap is useful. Uh... Oh, I see something. Oh, it's a million miles away. Uh, what the heck? How do we get over there? Where am I? Let's get out of here. What about this? Okay. Like, I want to go over here. Press B to start rebuilding your base. Um, okay. T. Oh, my God. Why T, though? Can I ask? Nobody wants to press T. So, we actually do have a base, then. Does that mean it kind of has this, like, weird open world feel? Even though... It shouldn't, because so far we've just been on rails. But now I guess we're going to have this one area that we stay, and then we're going to keep going back into that amp or the, the big building or whatever. Oh, stand. What the hell is going on? Now build a work table. No! Now I'm going to clean up. I'm going to clean up everything now. Now you give them the option to clean up. You think I'm going to stop halfway? Huh? Wait. Binoculars assign missions. Alright, alright. Oh no, you know what? No, this is cool. I can assign missions to my guys? Oh, God damn it, Tatiana. How do I do this then? Right, yeah. Uh, F, enter. A workbench. Find a place you can build by walking around it. We obviously want this workbench to be up against this wall here. My man! You've unlocked the ability to build primitive structures. What is this? We don't have any of the stuff we needed for that. Okay. Uh, back is tab for some reason. I don't know why it would ever be tabbed, but it was. Enter. Can't build any of these. Oh, bed. Uh, about this. The buttons in this game are weird, man. Who uses tab? Who uses this tab for anything? Alright, anyway, we've got a table. Now can I go assign missions? Oh, hello. Not going straight back to the power plant. No, no, no. Oh, 
We're outnumbered, outgunned, everything. We need intel, backup, supplies. Most of all, we need a fucking plan. Now is the Sims. <clears throat> Agree with Olivier. Ладно, Оливер. Будь по твоему. Рад, что ты прислушался. Видишь эту доску за мной? Use it to map out a plan of action. I agree. Мы используем ее для планирования. Выясним, как пробраться на станцию и найти то, что ты ищешь. Yeah, yeah. Build a team. Build a little army. We'll go in. Get some supplies. Все сведения о ресурсах. Все будем отмечать здесь. Agreed. А действовать начнем, когда момент будет подходить. They're going to be on high alert right now. Что сосредоточимся на том, чтобы закрепиться здесь. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, enter to skip line. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots. Uh, agree with him. Great. I'll do everything I can to help you. Tatania is the name, right? Yep. One last thing for you. Nah, use weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them. So we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Oh. Ah, okay. So we can use their weapons against them. You remember? Remember how that worked out in Metal Gear Solid 5? All of the weapons were locked remotely so that none of them could shoot at Revolver Ocelot. And then Revolver Ocelot turned all the guns around <laughs> and took them off of everybody and, and then unlocked them all so they could be used again. It was the stupidest thing. It just made him invincible. No one could use a weapon against him. And then you, then you same thing, you just had to use like an old pistol. You start each day with planning. Choose which mission you will do personally and which you interest to Oliver. Choose wisely. You can only complete one mission each day. Interesting. Um, supply drop, medicine. Ah, okay, well. Ammo drop, ammo stash. Ammo stash, Oliver. I'm gonna go get Medicine supply. All right, I'm ready to start the mission. Hello. There we go. Right, we've got a mission. Right, so now each mission, when you're outside the base, uh, uh, in the zone, the set of things you can build is completely different. Press B to start building. Um, building can be noisy, and the zone is a dangerous place. Okay. So we can make crafting tools, traps, and environment modifiers. Let's go into here. Uh, Chernobylite neutralizer. Space-time distributor. Jesus. Wormhole blocker. Okay. Um, or you can build, like, a bomb. <laughs> That's what it's going to tell me, isn't it? Uh, e and then F. I, I hate... Whoever designed the buttons that you have to press to go through these menus, I think you're an insane person. Or a stove. Uh, an advanced field workshop. A gunsmith field... Why? No, I don't want that. It's just your stupid menu. Full of just made by a complete insane person. Fireworks, laser explosive trap, landmine. Assimilating trap. Schnobble like born creatures. Directional trap. Um, You know what? I'm going to not do anything right now. I think it's still early on in the game. I don't think we're going to have too much to deal with. Uh, I do have a gun somewhere. There it is. I would like a, another, a better gun. I would like to not have to use the gun, to be honest. I only got 10 shots. Okay. Um, I don't see anyone, but we've got a crouch. So we've been playing this game for about 100 years, um, and we've just started to get to actually play it, which is the problem with demos uh that aren't demos this is the problem with 
games that want there to be a demo but don't want to kind of custom chunk a bit out of the game to do it. So they just chunk off the first bit of the game. Я же не могу оставить детский сад без присмотра. Пожалуйста, не спорь. Потом будешь нам благодарна. Right. Is there anybody in here? You know what? Right. Oh my god, what? Ah! Oh, please let me play the game for three seconds, please! Please! God damn it! I'm sick of ghosts. Just please, please, you can you can give me with a hit me with a backstory and that eventually. But can I just just enjoy being able to do something for a minute? You know how you make somebody not care about the story of your game? Um, this. This is how. This is exactly how. This is exactly how. Just shove it in the goddamn face every three seconds when they're in the middle of, like, experiencing your game. Non-stop. Just keep hitting them with it. And then when they think they're finally free, no. Every single room is going to have a flashback, all right? Every room. Whoa. Might be a guard. Might be a guard somewhere. I saw I saw my little yellow radar thing pop up. So I wanna get in here somehow. But he said I need a lockpick, did it? So, try crafting it at the station in your base, bro. Are you stupid? This is the first mission. Surely you're going to let me build it. You're going to let me build it here. Crafting tools. Is that what it's going to be? F? I can make ammo. Gas mask filter, modifications to my weapon. <sighs> but it's not going to let me make a, a lockpick. The only thing I need. Excellent. I can build what what you're trying to what you're trying to tell me. What you're trying to tell me right now is, in the wild, I can build a space-time distributor and a wormhole blocker, but I can't make a fucking padlock, uh, a, a, a pick lock, which is basically a piece of metal, a small piece of metal with a bend at the end of it. Just a little... That's what you're not allowed to make. You can make a wormhole blocker. But you can't have a, a little friggin' hair clip. I saw it again. I saw the yellow thing come up. There is someone around here. Oh, there he is. I'm gonna go kill him because it's the only thing to do in this game. That I'm, all, that I'm allowed to do. I don't want to build it. Get off! Oh, which way is this guy going? There's two of them. Yeah. Stuff take down. Oh, the other guy saw me. Now it's fight time. Combat 110. Ah, oh, get headshot, loser. 
Um, can I, do you have any pick locks by any chance? Excuse me, sir, do you have any pick locks? No. Alright, well. Um, that was fun, but time to move on. Maybe I can drink some soup or whatever and heal up. Hey. Condition and psyche. We've got 144 meters to go. I can't see anything. Okay. We can't play this game for much longer. Like, I... I this is a 400-hour game. This is a full open world game and I, I just wanted to to play a demo of it but no here we are in the wilderness hunting down supplies where is my uh this hey we found something are you a box of lock picks <laughs> like your revolver ammo box of lock picks would be asking for too much Like, those guns, those guns, those guys have guns, right, that I can't use. They're, like, biometrically locked to that person specifically, so only they can use them. But, surely I could take that gun apart, take out, like, the spring, take out, like, a spring in the gun, and make a lockpick out of that, but no. No. Instead, you, they've got, like, a tankard of oil on them instead. Because that makes more sense. Just carrying flammable liquids. Like, full buckets of flammable liquids in the back pocket. That's what makes sense. See a guy. I can also, I feel like, just totally avoid him. We're not playing this much longer. I'm going to get to this one area. I would like to have just completed this one mission. So I'm going to try and get to this area where we're trying to get to. Oh. I'll be coughing, bro. What the hell? Get sick. He has the COVID. Hey, that's the supply drop. There's a guy up there. And then there's a guy there. Alright, this guy's quoting The Shining, so you know he can be trusted. Who is, like, who is Johnny over there? Just like... In the bathroom. Yeah. There has to be a way to get up there. The guy's above me. Thinking maybe I've come all the way around. Maybe I can murder this guy without the other one seeing. But you know what? We'll equip the gun just in case. Oh my god, hello! <laughs> That's where you were. You should have absolutely seen me. But you're an idiot, so we'll take it. Condition and Psyche. I think, like, by killing... Excuse me? That was, like, right in his chin and it didn't insta-kill him. Quest completed. Right, we did it. Oh, that's where the stairs were. Hello. <laughs> And you're crouching around all day, you just, you don't see it all. When you're ready, use the portal generator. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, because we still got the Chernobyl light a little bit. There's somebody else, I can hear him, like, in the bathroom.
Ah. Uh, uh, I need a gas mask to go down there. I see. At least he wasn't actually doing a Johnny on the toilet. Like, uh, let's get the portal generator and go home. I think I'm done. Oh my god! Come on. Uh, this is cool. It is cool, but. I say, the annoying part of when I'm trying to do demos, I want to play a demo of a game, and really what we got of that is a one really long tutorial with not much context for anything that's going on. Um, but I did really, I do really like this. I need to go back to the power plant. Feeling, you surprise me. Just your instincts, right. Keep gathering evidence, I'll formulate a plan. Yeah, yeah, how do we do today? I'll brief you in a minute, let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. You hide me in renting this warehouse, that makes you the commander of this base. In charge of equipment and most important are food rations. Alright, so... Yeah, we need to give people food and stuff as well. Right. So you have to keep going out and getting food as well. This is cool, man. We're trying to build, like, a little army of people. We're trying to go on missions. This guy's submitting a report to me, what he did, and then he brought in some stuff as well. Maybe he's going to get damaged. You know, we can give each other... We can, like, look. Um, maybe I'm going to have half food ration and so is Oliver. Um... And then we don't have enough beds, so we're sleeping on the floor. So then I've got to go out and get herbs for a bed so I can sleep well. My men feel better and stuff. Like, this is cool. This is actually... You know what? It, 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 I don't know. It's very unique. I'm trying to actually build, like, a, a, a base, like a small army. It feels like uh, the way that you kind of play Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of War. You know what I mean? Upgrade your weapon with the calibration tool? Hell yeah. And then he's asking me to upgrade his gun in a certain way, which means we need to build certain things for the base. So you, when you're out doing a mission, you also need to make sure you're getting as many of those items and stuff as you can. Maybe I'm going to... I would have like... One out of five. Is that five? Maybe I would have like a little notebook here and I'd be writing down like, okay, I need three of these herbs and some of that so I can get this food and get a bed made. And I really like that. That's really cool. Um, but that's going to be the end of this demo. It, it was cool. I'm going to still give it a three. Um, because we didn't really get to experience the proper full game for a while. And then when we did, it kind of felt a little bit weird. We weren't really prepared for it. Chernobyl light. Chernobyl light. But I can see that really opening up and becoming... And being awesome. I, I can see that being really awesome. In fact, how much is it? Uh, I'm going to add that to my wish list. Because like I say, even though... The, this demo I'm rating as a demo. That's the thing. This is not. I'm not rating the game or what the game could be. I'm rating the demo. Uh, this came out 28th of July 2021, the full game, and it's pretty cheap as well. It's half the price of a full game, less than half the price of a full game. I might add it to my wish list, and maybe I'll play that in the future. That is something I would really like to play co-op, where I would go do one mission and my friend would go do another, or we could both go do the same mission together if it was, like, challenging. And then, so you could, you know how like Minecraft, you build a base and everyone, you know, uh, we've been playing Astroneer last year, me and Tyres and myself. And, but you can go and do separate missions and then come back and build your base together. That's why I would like to, in this game, imagine if you could just like send your friend to do a mission and they do it whilst you're not playing the game. You know, you're, you're out somewhere and then they do a mission. And when you come back, you've got more supplies, then you go do a mission. And it's kind of like, it's co-op, but you don't always have to be playing at the same time as each other. That would be super cool. Um, to have a base like that. I don't know. Something like that would be awesome. But Chernobylite? I like that. I'm gonna give... I'm, I've given it a 3, like I say, because I'm rating the demo. But that game could be cool. Um, the annoying part is if I do end up playing it, I probably have to do all of that intro again, which is very annoying. But we'll see.